Tip is controlled by the Golden State Warriors. It goes to rookie Keith Wilkes out of UCLA. Here's Beard going to Barry, puts it up early. Barry just caught the side of the rim at the rebound, is taken down and put back up by a backcourt player, Butch Beard. And Golden State has the lead two to nothing. Barry playing a tight defensive game, now backs off to front Tom Borwickle. They go to Love. Wilkes comes over. Beard comes over. They tip the ball, but they also foul Bob Love. Golden State, uh, we're, they're going to try to double team the Chicago players, but once they double team them and they pick up the dribble, they want to go back to their man as quick as possible. They did a good job on Bob Love the other night. He had only 20 points, and that's not real good for him, but uh, Chicago, of course, won the ball game. The foul was on Butch Beard, Jerry, and here's Bob Love going for a two shot foul to the line. Love and 79% free throw shooter. Beard brings the ball up court as he is bucked by Jerry Sloan. Now the Bulls switch off. Here is Rick Berry on the outside looking to work off a pick from Clifford Ray and Berry takes it inside, puts it up off glass and can't get the shot. Warwickle outlet to Chet Walker. Bob Love is open, lost the basketball. But the ball turns over to Golden State. You know, there was one situation where uh, Chet Walker, if he had made the bounce pass, uh, Chicago would have had a layup. But of course, when big guys get the ball, sometimes they aren't sure of themselves. Give and go inside to Butch Beard. He is defended against nicely by Jerry Sloan, but Richie Powers blows the whistle underneath, and he was on top of the play and calls a foul that'll send Butch Beard to the free throw line. Okay, here's one of the things to make Rick Berry such a super player. You got to be careful with him all the time, and he hit Butch Beard cutting inside, and he gets fouled on the play by Jerry Sloan. Beard was the best shooting guard in the NBA this year. Led the guards in field goal percentage almost 53%. And he was a 62% shooter from the floor against Chicago during the regular season, so he's hurt the ball. It is a four to two game Golden State. A fast go to this game as Van Leer drives to the basket. And again, we have the foul call. Okay, this shows you the great quickness of Norm Van Leer. He's against a very quick man himself, Charlie Johnson. He drives to the basket. And it looks like Charlie Johnson grabs him over the arm for the foul. Van Leer is very important in this ball game. He does the penetration for Chicago, gets their offense in motion, and when their offense bogs down, you can look for him to cut inside a lot of times. And those free throws tie the game. It's four all. Here is Barry looking to go to the basket. Fires it out to Butch Beard. And Beard hits it from the outside. Another whistle underneath. 10.58 to play in the first quarter. The officials are calling a lot of fouls early in this ball game, and with the importance of the ball game, I think it's important. You keep the players in their place you don't let them get out of hand and commit fouls that are not good at early in the ball game Clifford Ray will have a chance to make this uh, free throw because they scored the basket on the play rebound swept down by Bob Love it's a 6-2-4 ball game Golden State is in the lead as Van Leer tries to move inside against a man just his size and just as quick and Charlie Johnson of Golden State Bob Love picked up by Wilkes superb defensive player in his rookie season Borwinkle with that big, big commodity, the offensive rebound. And Chicago will get another shot at it. Early in the first quarter, Golden State is in the lead, 6-4. to four. This is the third game of the Western Set Final Series. As Van Leer misses the shot, Wilkes sweeps down the defensive board. Lead pass nicely to Johnson up against Sloan. And Charlie Johnson, a six-foot guard out of Cal at Berkeley, pops it. That's exactly what Golden State wants to do. They want to get it down for their quick opportunity shot, and so far they've been successful. Rick Berry making a move on Chet Walker trying to steal the ball. Very aggressive defense by both teams as Wilkes again comes up with the ball. Here's Berry. He'll set it down all by himself. And all of a sudden, Golden State has jumped out to an 11-4 lead. 10-4 lead. No lead against Chicago is big enough. Especially in this building. And, and this early in the ball game. Van Leer goes outside to Sloan. Both these teams playing a very tight switching man to man defense, almost his own. Van Leer puts it way up. And now it's a 10 to 6 game as Norm Van Leer hits it from way, way out. Gary, we got a tremendous pace in this game. It'll be tough to keep up for 48 minutes. Well, in the ball game, but Chicago has a way of getting you to play their kind of game, and it wouldn't surprise me to see this game slow down a lot. Keith Wilkes, who was Golden State's second leading scorer during the regular season, 14 points a game. Hits that shot to make it 12 to 6, Golden State. Walker looking for men cutting inside. Love going crisscross across the lane. And we have a foul call on Butch Beard. Second on Butch. 
Butch uh, has had some foul problems. Uh, I think he was one of the leading players as far as fouling out in the league this year, and he's had played numerous other ball games where he's had five fouls. So he'll have to watch himself early. They're letting Love go one-on-one -on -one with Keith Wilkes. Bob Love. He just can't do anything with that. Not that shot. Throws it up from behind his head, falling back. Here's Beard to the basket for Golden State. And official Joe Gershu has a whistle inside. Well, the reason Beard was able to get around Gary Sloan, he makes a good head and uh, change over dribble, and cuts inside, and of course, Borwinkle hits him over the arm. Chicago's defense has not gotten back well, and that's why Golden State's had so many opportunities early in the ballgame. Butch Beard played collegiately at Louisville, top high school basketball player in Kentucky. Back in 1965, he leads the Warrior fast break. Excellent ball handler, great vision. He spots those open then on the flanks coming down with the ball. It's now 14 to 8. Golden State as Van Leer brings the ball up court against the Preston Johnson. Golden State up by six. They go outside to Sloan. They clear away from the basket. Back door is open. The men go down low, and here is another whistle and a call that turns the ball over to the Golden State Warriors. Gary Sloan blocking out. Okay, we have to play again. Here's Sloan cutting inside. He just simply bumps into Clifford Ray, and I really think that time that uh, Clifford Ray acted a little bit. Usually, see guards act for a big man. That's kind of strange. Second foul on Sloan. Two team, uh, three team fouls on both clubs as Charlie Johnson again hits it from the outside, and all of a sudden it is an eight-point lead for the Golden State Warriors, their biggest of the game. Chet Walker throws it up and hits it. And this is a very, very high percentage game so far from the field. Barry takes it right back down, feeds the Clifford Ray, and he's grabbed it. Well, I guarantee you, as this game goes on, you won't see him shooting those same shots wide open all the time. Chicago's defense will tighten up. That's one thing you can be sure of. And Lear takes it down the court. Ray goes down hard. No foul call. Up court to Beer to Rick Berry. Moving in against Chet Walker. Fires it out. The ball goes to Johnson. The little man hits his third outside jump shot. And it's an 18 to 10 game warrior. I think if you notice Charlie Johnson, every shot he shot, he's had a very, very good shot. He's going up on balance. And that's indicative of one thing. The Golden State's getting the kind of shot that they want. Richie Powers warning both sides. Nobody's tired of fighting my game. He's got it under control. This man is, I think, the best official in the league. Chet Walker starts to go to the basket. Rick Barry hacked at the ball, and he has called for a foul. Okay, here's the play. Chet Walker just shows you what a good offensive player he is. He makes a head and shoulder fake, and, of course, Rick Barry... Reaches in, he grabs him over the arm. I think on that particular play, Rick Barry should have retreated a little bit because Walker does not like to shoot the ball that far out on the floor. That was the fifth team foul against Golden State. They're over the limit here in the first quarter, 7.35 to play in it. As Ken Walker, a 94% shooter in the playoffs from the free throw line. Gets them both, and it's 18-12. Sloan is knocked down by Wilkes. Here is Keith Wilkes on the outside. Doesn't get the roll. It's kept up by Ray, and we're going to have it back the other way. A foul call goes against the Golden State Warriors. It'll also be a shooting foul, too, because uh, Golden State is in the bonus. Tom Borwinkle goes to the free throw line. Clifford Ray came over his back, Jerry, and Golden State being over the limit, big Tom Borwinkle goes to the free throw line. Tom Borwinkle is not a real big jumper, but the thing he does so well, he blocks out real well. He's very broad, and a uh, man his size is hard to get around. And of course, about the only thing you can do is go over top of it. He is so big, the building they call him. <laughs> Seven feet tall, 275 pounds. So now it is an 18 to 14 game Golden State as a semi press is put on against Butch Beard. Wilkes picks off Sloan who is defending against Butch Beard. On the outside, they go to Keith Wilkes, driving the lane against Bob Love. He gets the roll, and it's 20 to 14 Warriors. That's one thing Keith Wilkes has really learned as the season is going on. He's learned how to drive, and I think it's made him an even better basketball player. Gary Sloan now goes to the free throw line. Foul call is on Butch Beard, his third of the first quarter. So 
Jerry Sloan at the free throw line. He is hitting just over 60% from the free throw line in the playoffs. Has not shot well. Dick Mata says he's got to get more from his backcourt players on offense. Rick Barry looking to go to the basket. He does. Takes it all the way in, but doesn't have enough on the shot. Rebound down to left up to Van Leer. Racehorse basketball. Van Leer looks to Sloan against Wilkes on the switch off. And now Van Leer penetrates, feeds off to Chet Walker. Bob Love out fights everybody. I think that penetration by Norm Van Leer really shows this. Okay, Van Leer penetrated, passed the ball to Walker. Love goes up, rebounds, Walker's missed shot. Scores, he's fouled on the play. Back at Chicago Stadium, we have six minutes and 36 seconds to play in the first quarter. The Golden State Warriors jumping out to an eight-point lead. That has now been cut to three by Chicago. It's 20 to 17. As this huge arena is sold out. Game three of the Western Finals, all even up at one game apiece. Golden State won the first game handily at Oakland. Came back here and lost in the closing seconds on Wednesday night. In the game for Chicago, the same five men have started. Chet Walker, Tom Vorwinkle, and Bob Love up front. Jerry Sloan and Norm Van Leer in backcourt. And for Golden State, Butch Beard, Charlie Johnson in the back line. Up front, Rick Berry, Clifford Ray, and Keith Wilkes as Bob Love will get set to go to the free throw line. Don Chicago to this point has missed only one free throw. I don't think that's uh, correct that you see on the screen. Jerry Sloan missed one free throw. And they've really kept in this ball game with their free throw shooting. That's right. 20 to 18. They're down by just two now. Charlie Johnson, a lightning quick guard. You don't hear a whole lot about him in the course of the regular season, but he's a real good basketball player. Here is Charlie Johnson again getting the basket up from the outside. Four times he has shot from the right flank, and four times he's hit the jump shot. He now has eight points. You and it's this, a 22 18 game. Excuse me, Jerry. If you let this guy off early in the ball game, he's going to hurt you the whole ball game. And he, he seems to play well against Norm Van Leer. Well, as Mata was saying, we've got to shut him down. They certainly have not done that. Eight points in the first quarter and still six minutes to play in it. Now we have a whistle underneath. Well, that particular play, uh, Johnson knocked the ball away from Van Leer, and Chicago's going to try to run an out of bounds. Hey, the guys are hitting the deck like somebody's got a gun out there. When Chicago's in the ball game. They always hit the deck. Chet Walker has the ball knocked away by Rick Berry. Another facet of Rick Barry's play that a lot of people aren't aware of. He was the number one player in the NBA in steals this year. Okay, here's Chet. He just has the ball out a little bit too far. And of course, Rick's got a great pair of hands. He reaches in and deflects it away. Chet Walker inbounds the ball to Jerry Sloan. Keith Wilkes knocks it out of bounds. Al Adel says about Keith Wilkes, he said, they'll make a mistake. And you figure, what's a guy who's been in the league as long as he is making a mistake like that? Then you remember he's a rookie. Just incredible how well he played for his first year player. This guy's had the fantastic uh, ability to improve as the season's gone on, and I think his career is unlimited in the NBA. Butch Beard dances in and out with the dribble, then fires it up, falling back. It's 24 18 Golden State. Chicago and White coming up court with the ball. Ten points now in this game for Butch Beard. He is the high scorer with 10 points. Barry gets the ball away. Gets down court in time. Saves the ball to Beard. What a great defensive play. A foul on Borwinkle. Spectacular play by Rick Barry, who just wanted it more than everybody else and got it. Here's why Rick Barry led the league in uh, steals. He has great, great anticipation, but he picked this ball up, and he threw it back to Butch Beard, and they called uh, pinning the ball on the backboard goaltending. Great play by Barry. Barry is the captain of the Golden State Warriors. The first time in his life he's ever been team captain, and he's really taken it seriously. Now Chicago comes right back as Chet Walker. We'll go to the free throw line. Basket goes, and he'll shoot for the three-point play with 5:01 to go in the first quarter. Rick Berry gets the foul. That was his second. We'll look at the foul back. Okay, we have the inside. Walker just catches the ball too deep in for Rick. And uh, of course, when a guy catches in that deep, you're in very, very serious trouble. He's probably going to foul a lot of the time. 
Barry standing in the corner, breaks out of it now, brings Love out with him, that opens up the inside, going down and loses Charlie Johnson. The ball is cleanly blocked and off of Johnson's shoulders. A great defensive play by Van Leer. It results in a standing ovation here in Chicago. And the, the Bulls come back down the court, trailing by five. 26 to 21. Chet Walker, Barry, real tight on him, but Barry, you see, dropping off to front Tom Borwickle. They don't want him to get the ball on the pivot where they can work their plays off Borwickle. They're not worried so much about Borwickle scoring as being the lead man on the pass off. Down with the ball, a six-foot Charlie Johnson up court for Golden State. Blind left side pass to Rick Barry. Rebound swept down by Borwinkle. Looks for the outlet. He goes to Sloan. Barry is there. Falls back. No foul. Sloan takes it down court. Left alone is Chet Walker. A little too much on the pass. And Walker lost it in the net. Out of bounds and back to Golden State. That's a very strange thing. He, Sloan threw in the ball across the grain of the defense. And he actually did lose sight of the ball with the net. I've never seen that happen before. Johnson gets the ball over to Barry inside the Butch Beard and a foul call. Get Walker hooked him and Butch Beard will go to the free throw line. Okay, this really shows you the great ability of Rick Barry. He can pick out guys underneath. Just a, swift, a simple switch inside and Jet Walker grabs Beard over the arm. Butch Beard. Hits the free throw. He now has scored 11 points. Golden State getting a lot out of their starting guards. They have combined for 19 of the 27 points so far. You know, the Butch, Butch Beard did not score in the ball game the other night here in Chicago. And he has 11 already. His running mate in the back line for Golden State, Charlie Johnson, has eight. Nate Thurman is now in the game for the Chicago Bulls. That's Thurman with the ball, playing against his old mates as he puts up the sweeping hook shot. Butch Beard at 6-3 gets the rebound up court to Wilkes ahead of the field and Keith Wilkes lays it in off the run. And it's a 29-21 game Golden State. It's a lot of points that Chicago has given up for them in the first quarter. They only give up about 95 a game. They've given up 29 in the first quarter already. Golden State has to be doing a lot of things right right now. Extraordinary percentage shooting, particularly by Golden State as Van Leer forces a long shot and gets it. They dropped off, protected the inside, Van Leer took it. Beard brings the ball down court. Van Leer comes over to double up on the ball. Now quickly backs off. Ball will come inbound to the Warriors. Sloan knocked it out of bounds. And now a substitute coming into the game as Clifford Ray goes out for a rest. And George Johnson comes in for the Golden State Warriors. 3-0-4 to play in the first quarter here at Chicago. Johnson against Van Leer. Real tight defense. Swinging off. And look at Johnson. That guy's on fire. This little guy is really quick, and, and uh, he is a very good shooter. When he gets it going, he might make everything. Is he? We were watching him before the game. He hit everything he threw up, and he's keeping it up in the game. He's, I believe, five for five from the outside. They're all outside jumpers. I don't think he's missed yet. He has 10 points. It's 31-23, as Sloan takes it in, feeds out to Van Leer. And he's hot. That's right, but again, there's good penetration by a guard, and when you see people penetrating in there, you know that somebody's going to be open. Everyone wants to help in this game. Well, that's the game, isn't it? you got to get that ball inside, make them double up on the ball. Somebody's free then. Chicago does a good job. Their defense is really kind of geared to stopping it penetration. He is Mac the Knife. He is the killer out there today. Charlie Johnson of Golden State. Again, he drills the outside jump shot. He's thrown up six. He's hit them all. And Golden State again has the eight-point lead. It's 33-25. Chicago has shot very well also in the first quarter, but Golden State has just been incredible. Rebound off the hand of Barry. It's tipped over to George Johnson. Barry up court to Beard. Golden State looking to run. They're doing it nicely. Getting the ball up quickly as Beard takes it down the baseline. Feeds off to Johnson. Couldn't find the handle. He's called for a travel. Good call by Joe Kachu. Both of these officials are very competent officials, and of course, uh, they've done a great job so far. So with 1.47 left to play in the first quarter, it's the Warriors 33 and the Chicago Bulls 25. Back at the Chicago Stadium there, you'll see the absolutely superb play of the offensively of the Golden State backcourt players. Butch Beard with 13 and Charlie Johnson with 12. 25 of their 33 points coming from the starting guard. You know, Rick Barry hasn't scored a point in this basketball game, but yet he's been very instrumental. Many of his passes have led to either a basket by Johnson or Beard, and you can see the value of this man to his ball club. And the most valuable guy on the floor in this first quarter hasn't scored a point. Johnson takes down the rebound for Golden State with 1.25 to play in the first quarter. Up court he goes to Keith Wilkes. 
Bob Love picks him up and Golden State sets the play. They'll hurry the ball down as quickly as they can. Inbounds or off the backboard, and then if they don't get the break, they'll set up the play. Here is Johnson beating outside of Keith Wilkes, moving on Nate Thurman on an overmatch. Had to put it up real high. Thurman tips it over to Sloan. Knocked out of bounds. The last touch by George Johnson. And Van Leer brings it all up short. He and Johnson almost look like twins. Same beard, same height, same speed. That's right. Both of them are very quick players. I think Charlie's a little bit better outside shooter than Norm. He has been in this game. Up court, the ball goes to Charlie Johnson. He is six for six. He is seven for seven. He has been incredible for Golden State. An impassive look on his face as he comes back down the floor. I tell you, you get shots like that, and you're going to shoot a very high percentage. I'm really surprised <laughs> that Chicago's defense hasn't been a little bit tougher. They've already given up 35 points in this basketball game, and that's really unusual for them. That has something to do.